we were up in North Dakota and I I was using the trolling motor and we came up on a stump and my trolling motor hit the stump. The weight of the boat, the weight of the four guys on the boat were all upon the shaft of the trolling motor. And with all that pressure hitting the shaft, the shaft cracked and broke. And it cracked here all the way down to here. And this whole part, this, this is where all the pressure was. I had the trolling motor lower down to around right here. So if you look, because of the crack, water got down to the lower unit. And down there, there's some grease. There's some uh, oil down there, marine oil and grease that's in there. Water got in. So you see all these stain marks on the unit here? These are all of what water mixed with with the, the grease in there and now it's got stained apart from cleaning it up before I install it back into the boat. So when you lift it up to flat it on your boat and you drive forward, all the water comes right through the shaft and leaks right through here. And all water comes out through here and in here is where the shaft comes in to, to lock in inside here. These are pretty, pretty bad stains. So hopefully I'll be able to clean that up with some degreaser or, or some chemical to get that off. This is size one fourth of the Allen wrench. And you just take it in there, take it off, screw off. And let me see here. And all you have to do is just yank and pull. You can pull the top unit off, and that's how it is. Comes off. What I need to do too is take off the support here. So when I bring it in, I'm not gonna bring the support. Try more support. Because it gets in the way. And they said if it's under three years, it's still covered under the warranty. The shaft is a lifetime warranty, but you will have to pay for the installation and the labor. But because it's under three years, everything should be covered, even the labor should be covered. So hopefully, when I get the new shaft, I'll be back in business, back out in the water again. For the meantime, since I took the mount off, I have to put the mount back on, but it's easier to put the mount on without this because most of the weight is from the, the trolling motor unit, but the mount itself is pretty light. So I'll put the mount on and then when the shaft comes in, we'll put the shaft and everything back on the boat. One eternity later.
is a GPS here. This just turns. Yep. Yeah, this is just a steering housing right here, so it yeah. sends it sends signals through this this back down to the foot pedal. Yeah. And then the, the foot pedal sends the signal to the. I I don't have a hummingbird, so I'm not using it. No, that that. No, no. Okay, can we take it out and just save it for a while for another day? Yeah. Uh, I I I just wrapped it on. Cause I yeah, cause I have a, a Garmin in front. I got rid of my hummingbird, so I don't want to use it. Oh, Save it in case. Save it because you can see something you saw again. Yeah. Terrible run. This is a tragic. Oh, you did it? You did it? Yep. Okay, yeah, it's it. Okay, I didn't want it to pull off.
Here. Just wash it down and see if it. It's going. Yeah, push that out. It's going. Right here. All right, you, you want to climb up there? Maybe kick it. This has to be down first. Okay, push down and forward. Push down and forward. There you go. There you go. Is it all the way in? I think it is. So as long as this stick here is blocking that. Are you gonna put screws in there? Yeah, this screw right here. It's just one bolt? Just one bolt. Good enough. Yeah, that was just the washer. Alright, it's done.